the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Well, this crisis break. You can be, you can have a, a, a righteous motive or an unrighteous motive. Yeah. But as long as Christ is preached, come on, it's all game. That's the whole point. And look, as long as we point it toward Christ, instead of pointing toward our denomination, yeah, uh, our doctrine, our dogma. See, because the point is that that's subtle. Of first, we're gonna make Peter Pope, the first Pope. You know, he's gonna be elected. We could call him the leader of the twelve apostles. And or, they probably had nothing to do with Peter, but just yep. tied themselves to him. Yep, they linked it to him. We linked to Peter. <laughs> yeah, who, yeah. Supposed to be the rock. Come on now. <laughs> Come and on. The church was was supposedly built on Peter when that's not even what Christ was saying. No, because he really talking about himself. Yeah. But you know, here's, here's the point I'm saying is the fact is that that same Peter denied Christ three times. Yeah, and it wasn't it wasn't Peter no. that that moved into this apostolic ministry with power. It was the Holy Spirit in him. And in all of them, the yes. one. yeah. But I'm talking yeah. about Peter himself. Yeah, yeah. It was the Holy Spirit. He, he, this dude was afraid of those authorities. He cowered down. He denied Christ. And it wasn't until after the Holy Spirit fell upon him mm -hmm. that he ministered with boldness and power and authority. And he was fearless before them. But you know, they, they don't forget the fact is though that Paul busted them out. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. About about him uh, being a hypocrite. When, when, yeah. But I said, okay, what's when I when he, my other fellow Jews or Hebrew people show up, I'm, I'm gonna go over there with them. Yeah. And Paul was like, what, where, where you going, man? Yeah. <laughs> where you going? So to say that he was the Pope. You know, you arbitrarily made him the leader, you know? And I saw some of them actually say about the, you know, just somebody get offended. Okay, got you on your part. I'm telling you what the scripture is basically saying is that Christ is the rock. There's other scriptures that say God is the rock. There's other scripture for it. <laughs> who the rock is, who the foundation is. Uh, but I understand, you, you see the reason why some people want it to be Peter? It's the same thing, God. Check it out. Moses. Yeah. You 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 go talk. Yeah. You go talk to God and we'll hear you. Yeah. And 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 that same pattern, people, exists even today. <laughs> Some of y'all pastor read the Bible for us. Pastor pray for us. You know, we, we want somebody else to be an, what you call it, an intermediary? Yeah. Huh? Between we God and you, deal huh? with God while we do what we gonna do, we gonna yeah. pick you what we want to hear and mm -hmm. what we want, the way we want to act. Yeah, instead yeah. of letting God. Uh huh. And look, we want to sit there and say, "Is it?" I remember T.D. Jake was sitting there used to say it, uh, when he was uh, not. I guess he still would say he was saved, but the fact is that they'll be cutting the food until they come close to the church building or church grounds. Then they will reverence the church building, the church grounds. They will be respectful to it until they pass away from it. So it wasn't God they were reverencing. Exactly. Because and God was with the them when they coming down the street. Growing up. Come on. That's what, that's what was instilled in me. Come on. You know, I was taught to reverence that church. I was mm -hmm. taught to behave mm -hmm. in the midst of that church. Because <laughs> not only would my parents, or my mom put her hand on me, uh -huh. anybody in that church 
you would put their hands on me if I got out of line in that in, church in that church that church surrounding exactly so naturally mm -hmm. when you walk by that reverence for that church is going to be there because that's what you were taught you were truly taught to reverence God, God who's with you all that's, the time that's what should have been mm -hmm. taught exactly you in know, other words he said yep he said it didn't he he said in the Ten Commandments, didn't he? Yeah. He even said in the Ten Commandments, I'm, I'm, I'm the Lord thy God. Yeah. Right? Don't make no image of me. So now by you reverencing the church building, that's an image. Yeah. Right? You have reverence the pulpit. That's an image. Well, that's a, you know, that's a symbol of something. You don't have a good problem with that. And look, and the symbol, I know it. And this, yeah, yeah, some people say, well, I ain't gonna let anybody come in my pulpit. Right? But well, the whole problem pulpit, is, <laughs> they, they, they call it an altar. They, yes, they do. They call yeah. it an altar, and then they call it a pulpit. It's got to be one or the other. Yeah. Hey, let them lose those terms about slain in the spirit. <laughs> and, and I do know one thing: it cannot be an an, an altar. No, no. But they want you to get no that need. money. There's no need. Right. For an altar. Because yeah. Because there's no sacrifice needed anymore. Or well, they believe that money is, look, they believe that money is a sacrifice. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. seen them have people put money yeah. on the altar. Throw wow. it up there, sir. That is, that is. <laughs> they told people is, how to throw it up there. Put a, you, put a, put a you, cord. You talking about ungodly. <laughs> hey, hey, look, put a cord and wrap the dollar up in a cord and throw it on the altar. It'll fly, it'll fly up there. Because that cord, that coin is way that dollar, that $10 or that $100. God told me uh, there's a couple of people here who's give a thousand dollars. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, well, when we, they we don't, wait. they be like, anybody got five? <laughs> you break it down, right? It down. I'm just saying, it's just it's subtle. That's the pattern, isn't it? Yeah. It's the subtlety, and, and and then some people sit there and they, you have to attack uh, faith, saying is, well, you got black people thinking that they're gonna get to heaven. That's when they're gonna get. That's when they're gonna live heavenly when they get to heaven, and 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 yeah, while well, the other group is having heaven on earth, you know. And you're sitting there saying, "Wow, maybe maybe I am dealing with the wrong religion." Uh, it it just I find so many ways people want to try to combat, get you off the word, and focus on something else, and they try to make you question the word, don't they? They 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 sit there and say, "Well, uh, this was created by man," uh, and then and that's all they need. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, but if if God showed up, they'd be like, "Oh," which is what they're gonna do. What's gonna happen? When women the people, they they're gonna say, they try to get the mountains, the rocks to fall on them because they're gonna be exposed. And I can't believe that the people who did those lynching. Think about that, right? You, we talked about what they did to an individual for that. It, that is that's just totally inhumane, you know. And to bring your children to it yeah. is totally. And, and it's almost like they were worshiping it, you know, in, in the mm. process of it. So, mm. like a sacrifice. Yeah, it was a it was a sacrifice. But that's a subtle pattern, cause like you see here, the tree, the food, look at Megan Wise and everything else. And look at here's the last pattern I see in here. Oh, I didn't put it in there. First we all know the eyes are open, right? <laughs> when God approached Adam and asked him, who, who, who told you you was naked? Yeah. And then Adam. He ain't answer that question, did he? No, what he had, what, what he said? What he said? What he said? Tell tell him what he said, bro. He said that woman. <laughs> Ooh, are you catching? Are you catching a pattern of people? Right? <laughs> I'm gonna blame some on somebody else. I ain't gonna look at me. I I, ain't, I I'm not gonna <laughs> bless you. I'm not I'm not gonna look at I'm not gonna look at my fault shortfalls. I'm not gonna look at what I did wrong. I'm not gonna confess what I'm doing wrong. I wanna go point to somebody else. Yeah. Is, is that not a pattern, you see? That's it. That is a pattern, brother. 
<laughs> I just want people to understand it's a pattern of behavior. And, and what I'm sitting there saying, because the title is talking about wheat and tear, they grow up together. We grow up in this world system with a lot of tears and wheat. Because all of us got a lot of tears individually. Can I get a witness on that? And then we got we got tears in our family. We got tears in our community. <laughs> we got we got wheat too. We got, in other words, it's at the highest levels of our authority that we recognize the tears in the wheat, the good in the bad. In a lot of cases, you see bad manifest itself when it doesn't get its way. All for the benefit of himself. But that's all of us. And I think we all just got to understand that that's... I, I, can we get the point and say, brother, is, is it fair to say you grow up with you as an individual? I like that little pattern you got, background. Uh, it's kind of represents the spirit, right? The Holy Spirit. <laughs> and, then, and, and then you you represents the, the flesh, the, 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 the body, the container. There, there's good and there's, there's uh, wheat and tear <laughs> just in the screen. And look at it. Check this out. The next one. I just want to show this pattern of behavior that, that continues to, to keep manifesting itself. Uh, what happened here? We read this before, but yeah, just... <laughs> And Abel, he also brought of the first firstlings of his flock, mm -hmm. and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and unto his offering. So Abel's weak then at this point. At least at this stage of the game, right? Yeah. He's weak. Okay. But unto Cain, oh. and to his offering, well, he had not respect. Oh. And Cain was very wrong. So, so now we're seeing tear, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. The continents <laughs> fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wrong? Mm. Why is thy countenance fallen? Mm. If thou doest well, well, shalt thou not be accepted. Well. And then, mm. if thou dost not well, mm. Then lieth at the door, mm. and unto thee mm. shall be his desire, mm. and thou shalt rule over him. Mm. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother, mm. and it came to pass. Mm. When they were in the field, yes. Cain rose up against his brother and slew him. Don't mm. see nothing about no rock in there anywhere. Nope. I was expecting to beat him with a stick. But <laughs> <laughs> and the Lord God said unto Cain, Where is Abel, my brother? Mm. And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? Mm. And how many of those people that probably played in the. And I try to. I, it's so hard to sit there and try to show people, but you kill the a fellow human being out of malice is saying you killed your brother because we're all in the big scheme of things brothers and sisters and yet we found out it was justifiable to kill so and so could I, I you ever wonder what what the person that could i don't believe the person that believed they were going to heaven or hell but those people that did that that, that type of stuff the, you know lynching and stuff what, 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 can you, what kind of conversation, maybe you can help me out, because I, I'm trying, what kind of conversation you think you're going to have, if that was you, what kind of conversation you have with God, with God, when you see him, when you go before him? I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was told. <laughs> I, 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 I was, I, I was trained that way. <laughs> I just happened to be there. Let's I, I didn't do it, but I, I was just there. I didn't do it. <laughs> you what? Oh, oh, you mean so? So, so all the other spectators they could say, I, I didn't, I didn't do that. Yeah. 
<laughs> but what about the ones that brought the little pieces of the pieces of the body parts? What about that? That 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 you was <laughs> you was innocent. <laughs> you, you you brought a flesh. How about how about the ones that sent the poster card out? I don't know what they can say. <laughs> That's the whole point where I'm trying to tell people. What do you think you're gonna to say to God? I know you can say what you can say to people. I know you can say this to all those people out there. I We're in agreement with you. I can't even imagine them opening their mouths <laughs> other than to cry out for forgiveness. For mercy. Yeah. And all he gonna sit all the act that he gonna sit there and say, What mercy did you give that person? Yeah. That human being. We see that all the time, right? That situation that you, you ask for mercy, but you didn't give mercy. Yeah, you see people trying to kill somebody. Mm -hmm. And the person they're trying to kill you somehow gets the upper hand. And then they beg, beg them to let you them see live. That, you've seen it many times, haven't you? Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's crazy. It is crazy. Because people don't understand. I hate to go here. Mm -hmm. You like a cop, kill a human, unarmed, and then turn around and beg for mercy. Yeah. But he gave none. None. Uh, justify. I'm a justify with a lie. I was yeah. fearful for my life. Fearful for my life, though I had a gun. Mm. This dude. And he did. Right. I thought he had a gun. How about the one that, that one was, the gun was in the car. And we don't know whether that was a throw down weapon or not either. Well, what about, uh, I can't remember the brother's name. They pulled him over and he said, I have a gun in my car. And he asked for his. He gun. said to pull out his, his license. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and the man said, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. yeah. Just don't do it. Don't do it. And I don't know how people even, I don't know why. With the, the guy that got shot recently, we're talking about, they were already shooting at his car. Yeah. He 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 was like, I just got the car stopped, broke down, what hit a tree or something. He he he's like, I just need to get away from this. Yeah. But he could not run a book. But as far as his brain was concerned, if I stay in the car, they're gonna still keep shooting at me. So, but the thing is that when those people, like you said, when they go to these court the hearings and everything, they're gonna sit there and say. Like some cases, the police said you could sue. That thing, I think in that case, right? It was one case that said you could sue them, but as far as their following procedures, we felt that they followed yeah. some procedures correctly. There's so what? It Justified. About the procedures. Mm -hmm. It says a lot about their union. Yeah. And, and the laws that are given to them. And they're spilling over to the public. I now, now, say that yeah, the, the that, man's laws mm -hmm. is nothing more than to control mm -hmm. humanity. Yeah, it's, it's funny. God's it's, laws is to expose ooh, man's humanity. That's a t-shirt by itself, too, to tell you Seriously, it is it, to expose, right? Yeah, and and it, man's humanity. That's all. Yeah. That's all it's doing, and, and and it's 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 showing you outside of him, humanity is trying to control you by any means necessary. And they're using the stand your ground law now, spilling over the people. Yeah. About standing that that eighty year old man. Yeah. I mean, obviously in his house, with in his a door glass door shut. Mm -hmm. No fear for my life. Conversation. At mm -hmm. all, there was no, nothing that could make this man be fearful in Come his on. home. And then, then look, call the boy six feet tall. Yeah, little young, little young sucker, young yeah. man. Yeah, six feet tall. But then opened the door and shot him again. I think then he shot through the through the glass door. Didn't shot he? through the glass, mm -hmm. and then he opened the door. The shoot, and shot try to get him again. Wow. And then. No, the first two doors wouldn't open and help him. Mm -mm. You know, the two neighbors. And then yeah. the third neighbor wouldn't help him unless he laid down 
on the ground with his hands over his head. Wow, how did he know that part? Yeah. And that's that that's just lets you know that that neighborhood mm -hmm. and what's going on with them. Right, because he lived he lived among them, so they probably just like him. But in agreement with him. Uh it won't show who they were. Mm -mm. It don't because it don't, don't nobody exposed them and their lack of humanity. It's just that one man who shot him, who actually was let go when another man shot somebody for just being in their property. Mm -hmm. He was black, and he was in jail, stayed in jail, and, and still probably in jail. Which one? The, the older man? He no, got bonded. The, the, oh. the, the black guy <laughs> who shot, who shot somebody. Oh, yeah, there was one that happened a long, long yard. time ago. Huh? Yeah. It was no, one that happened recent. a long, long time ago, Boston or somewhere. This was recent. Oh, really? Yeah. He's still like, in jail. They all happened around the same time. He's still in jail. Mm. Mm -hmm. But this man was let let go. In two hours, yeah. yeah. They yeah. went and arrested him again. And uh, yeah, he after, after it was exposed, five days later. Yeah, yeah, because it was exposed. If not, it would have swept under the rug. Yeah, I guess you're standing your ground. You're gonna right stand your ground. You know? But that, that's uh, not standing your ground. Mm -mm. But it's just an excuse. I just need to justify. But I'm saying it's it's spilling over to, you know, the civilian sector. Yeah. If it was good enough for a police officer, then it gotta be good enough for me. Wow, this 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 was this is all because it's, of the courts. The courts, the the courts is saying that it is okay mm -hmm. for a Caucasian person to kill a black person. Yeah. Get away with it. That that's or that's what that's a subtle. Constantly say that they they mm -hmm. by by its action. The, the, yeah. That's the fruit that they're showing. That yeah. They're and, and that thing we go ahead. And also that it's okay for black people to kill black people. Yeah. Yeah. Or Hispanic to kill a black person or Hispanic or black person to kill a Hispanic person. Yeah. You know. Uh is 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 to me once again that wheat and tear. And and now we're gonna go ahead and give the story and we close out with this is read this parable for us. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.